Here are 13 must-see and do hidden attractions in Anguilla. Sandy Ground. Known for these very picturesque shipwrecks, incredibly calm ocean, a variety of restaurants, bars, and boutiques, and a number of water sport operators that are ready to get you out on the water. Little Bay. Known for its secluded private beach, incredibly calm ocean, snorkeling, and our favorite, cliff jumping. What? <laughs> the Anguilla Arch which is currently open to the public via a quick dirt road drive or by boat and is known to be one of the most popular tourist attractions on the island. And yes, you can definitely snorkel, but beware the ocean tends to be a bit rougher on this side and the limestone is incredibly sharp. So wear the proper attire. Exploring Anguilla's 33 beaches. Despite only being 35 square miles long, Anguilla is home to 33 incredibly beautiful beaches with that soft white sand and that bright see-through ocean water. Our favorites are Shoal Bay, Sandy Ground, Little Bay, and Meats Bay. Do a little restaurant hopping. Anguilla is known as the culinary capital of the Caribbean, and you will miss out if you don't go out and explore all the different restaurant options on the island. Just trust me. Just make sure you call ahead and check the hours. Hop on a ferry to St. Martin. Okay, so if you didn't fly into St. Martin like we didn't, we actually flew directly into Anguilla, this is one way to explore another country and get another stamp in your passport. The best part, this is a quick 30 minute ferry ride or a 15 minute ride via a private charter boat. Catch a sailboat. One of the best ways to experience this crystal clear water is to see the island from a different perspective. And catching a sailboat ride is a great way to do it. And to top it off, with these guys, you get a tasty lobster lunch on board. Horseback riding. This is easily one of the most unique attractions on the island and for good reason, obviously. Can you imagine riding a horse on some of the prettiest beaches and ocean in the world? Yeah. Catching sunset. This one's pretty obvious, but sunset is absolutely stunning no matter where you watch it from. But one of our favorite locations is at the Sunset Grill Lounge, which is located in the Four Seasons on the northwest end of the island. Chartering a fishing boat. Again, not only an excellent way to get out on the water, but to also catch your dinner for the next couple of days for your vacation. Rent a car and explore the entire island. Renting a car should be number one on your list, and we suggest renting it for at least two or three days minimum. Also, I would suggest getting a covered car because you will melt if you don't have AC. Just trust me on this one. Go visit the larger resorts. Just like catching sunset at Four Seasons, take advantage of the larger resorts and experience their restaurants and shops. Our favorites are Sunset Lounge at Four Seasons, the Cap Shack at Bellman Cap Chaluca, and the all-you-can-eat barbecue at Zimmy Beach House. And that's specifically on Wednesday nights, just FYI. Go do some island hopping. There are multiple tiny little islands near Angola that you could do a little island hopping. Anywhere from a five minute boat ride to a quick 20 minute seaplane ride, you're at a different island. Just make sure you schedule these plans in advance way before you arrive or within the first day or two of your vacation. Spots fill up very quickly and they are limited. And for more in-depth details and whom we suggest doing excursions with, check out our Anguilla blog linked below. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Bye!